Hello, I'm Steve Griffin, um, master brewer, owner here at Hop the Griffin Brew Pub and Wine Bar. And this is What the Ale's Beer of the Week, my Hop the Pumpkin Ale. Um, this beer is something I probably never would have brewed a pumpkin beer. Um, but about seven years ago, uh, my wife liked pumpkin beers and she kind of talked me into trying it. Um, she basically said it's okay to homebrew, but I got to brew her a pumpkin beer every year. Um, it's, it's a tricky beer. Um, there's so much in it. You got your ginger and cloves and cinnamon and vanilla, lots of pumpkin, um, brown sugar, all kinds of things. And um, the trick with it is balancing it all to where nothing overwhelms and, and jumps forward. You want it all to be balanced, and the pumpkin included. Um, I can see why a lot of really big brewers probably don't, or breweries don't, brew pumpkin because using over 60 pounds of pumpkin in a batch, it is a mess and it's hard. Um, our first year I did a half batch of it. Um, the system could handle 30 pounds, a little over 30 pounds of pumpkin. But this year I went for a full batch and it was a little over 60 pounds. And it's the first time ever, home, home brew included, um, that had a stuck sparge. I sat there and had to stir it for it was a little over three hours to get it all to go into the boil pot. Um, I didn't want to give up on it. I thought I was going to lose the batch. I was probably panicking. Um, but after a little over three hours, we got it all in there. We probably lost a keg, uh, not a, but we saved it. Um, you know, pitched the yeast soon as the temp, and it turned out really good. Um, the next time we just brewed our second batch a few weeks ago, about a month now. Um, so I used put all the 60 plus pounds through cheesecloth after I cook them with brown sugar and all that. And as tedious as that is, it made it so I didn't get a stuck sparge. We got our full yield. So I'm glad we didn't lose a batch. I've lost two since we opened and it's always sad every time. So um, the, a the ABV is 6.2. So um, stronger than most pumpkin beers. A lot of them you'll get four and a half, five. Um, my main thing with it is I wanted it to still taste like beer, uh, not taste like dessert or just have a tiny little hint. Um, it's pretty much Thanksgiving in a glass. Um, we'll brew it a few more times. We'll keep it on probably through December. Um, it just does really well and it's unique. Um, I don't know. I haven't went to a lot of the local breweries, but I don't know if anyone else has even done it in Tulsa. I'm not sure, um, but I, I can see why. But it's people love it. Um, even people that don't like pumpkin are drinking it. So it makes, makes you feel good and see people enjoy something that's seasonal. Um, but yeah, I was just going to do it in October. I was like, you can have pumpkin beer all, all the way through Christmas. So we'll definitely have it on. Um, yeah, we're here at 71st and Yale. Uh, we're on the back end of the Lighthouse Shopping Center. Uh, kind of tough to see from the road, uh, tucked behind. Um, but we have, we have 10 different taps. I always have a good variety, a good mix. Um, right now we have a stout, we have a dry hop dunkel, which I use American hops in, make a different twist on it. Um, I have two double IPAs, a couple singles. Um, it's just a, it's a variety that'll make everyone happy. Um, and a lot of times people will get the flights and they're surprised that they like stuff they normally wouldn't. Um, kind of getting known for making IPAs for people that don't like IPAs. Um, they don't have, hops are very versatile. They do a lot of different things. Um, it doesn't have to be a pine cone to the face at all. Um, I do a lot of dry hopping. I do some, you know, first wort hopping, a lot of layers at the back end. Some of the recipes all have seven different hop additions and do it in smaller amounts where you can really taste the layers and everything. And it's, it's just what I enjoy to drink, so it makes it more fun to brew. This has been What the L's Beer of the Week, my Hop the Pumpkin Ale. Mm.